But do we all in some way say we want to do something a little bit different? Yeah. Yes. We want to do something better? Most of the time we do. Whether we call it a resolution or whether we call it whether it's at the first of the year or whenever it is. But we all want to try to improve, I think, from yesterday. I want to try to be better today than I was yesterday. And I was pretty good yesterday. <laughs> I believe you. So I, believe I can you. only imagine what I'm going to be today. <laughs> but we all desire to be a little better than we were. I hope we do. Look with me in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. We'll share one verse. Chapter 5, verse 17. Look at what the Word of the Lord says. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old is gone, the new is come. This is God's Word for God's peace. Amen. Yesterday, they call it yesterday for a reason. That means it's, it's in the past. And we look around at our life and sometimes maybe we want to try to do something better. I've been trying to get this weight off, not real hard, but I've been trying to get this weight off for a couple of years. And I'm not going to stand up here and tell you I'm going to try harder this year. I would love to, but I don't know that I can. Because you see, every time I turn around, there's banana pudding somewhere, there, there's a chocolate cake, there's, there's bluebell is coming back. But I know I need to lose a little bit of weight. And so I'm striving to do better at that this year. I want to do better. I want to get better than what I was. We have to realize that in the situations or problems or whatever we have going on in our life, that was yesterday. What do we do about today? What do we do about tomorrow? You see, there's lots of things in our lives that can change. Even as good as we are, or think we are, there's a lot more there to improve upon. It's just a matter of deciding to do it. You know, one of the things that I look at I want us to be more compassionate. Now, you may be the most compassionate person in the world, but that is something that over the period of years has changed in me. Oh, I'm so much more compassionate than I was 20 years ago, 10 years ago. But we can all see and understand the misfortune sometimes that people are going through and still hurt for them. That's about compassion. <laughs> Maybe we could even do a little bit better forgiving someone. Forgiving someone who may have done us wrong in the past. And you see, I said the past. That's gone. Amen. If we hang on to that hurt or that anger or that unforgiveness, do you know we're the ones that are suffering because of that. That person doesn't even probably realize or think anymore about what you've done or what you've said or how you said it. But it's about forgiving someone. It's about understanding what they're going through or how they're going through life right now. And sometimes we just must be able to look at them and forgive what they've said or what has been done. It's just something to work on, just to get a little bit better at. <coughs> Being a little kinder. How hard is that to be kind to someone? Do you know where to be kind to even those that are rude to us? Don't snap at a right waiter when he brings the wrong thing back. Don't get upset because they didn't come get your order in time. But be a little kinder. It doesn't hurt to, to tell them thank you. I appreciate you. Our kids, two or three of our kids, a couple of our kids waited tables when they first got out of school and between college and 
during college some. We had no idea what waiters and waitresses made. Mm -hmm. Do you, Tony? No, I did it for a long time. Yeah. What were you What were you making an hour? Two thirteen. Two thirteen an hour. That's what they're getting. They're probably they may be at four dollars now. I don't know. Three dollars. I don't know what it is. Three. 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 But it, three. It, it's very very minimal is what they're getting paid an hour. And we slip a dollar bill on the table after they've served us and waited on us, and we think we've done a good deed for them. We need to be a little bit more generous to those people. They're trying to take care of the family. They're trying to raise kids. A little more compassion. A little more kindness. A little more understanding. I think about our church. How did we come out this year, David, Jenna? Do you know the figures? How, were, were we, did we break even? Were we close? Close. No, well, <laughs> we're, we were within we were within ten percent. We were within ten percent of our budget. In other words, we were probably six thousand short. Yes, close to six thousand short of our budget. And you know, there's a lot of people that come to church that doesn't realize the financial aspects of the church. They don't realize the salaries. They don't realize the utilities. They don't realize. The upkeep and the maintenance. We replaced air conditioners. One time we put two of them in at four thousand bucks a piece. I think. Yes. I mean that that puts a big chunk in your in your budget. You don't hear me talk about this much. It's a fine day to talk about it when you get visitors. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't talk about this much, but sometimes it takes money to run the church, to do the ministries of the church. We're sending money to Peru. Different ministries and ways that this church reaches out. And I think God wants us to be a church that reaches out. He doesn't want us to be a church that just works and fills from ourselves, but He wants us to reach out. To share with others the need of whatever it may be, a financial need if there's a, if there's a need there. You folks have been so generous Carlos and Giovanni. Y'all really have. And they they are just they are they are floored by your generosity. Just helping them kind of halfway stay afloat from what they were making. But it takes it takes money to run the church. And if I remember my figures right, this coming budget, this 2016. We're going to be about seventeen thousand dollars short. Yes, sir. That sounds like a bunch, doesn't it? And that's that's a lot of need to. That's not just frivolous stuff. That's taking care. That's maintaining. That's salaries. That's utilities. That's missions. That's going out <laughs> and, and, and reaching out. David put a figure to this. That we could reach that seventeen thousand, that we would not come up short if we gave five dollars more a person a week. That's it. Five dollars more a week would make that seventeen thousand. Is that possible? Anything's possible, says God. You see, we may be slipping the waiter a dollar, and we may be slipping a dollar in the church. And if that's all we can do, then that's all we can do. But we need to get into a, to a need or a habit of giving just a little bit more. God expects, if we have much, God expects much. Just a little bit more. You say, I can't give 10%, preacher. That's fine. You don't have to give 10%. If you just start out giving 5%, if you start out giving 3%, and just build up a little bit, you'll be surprised where that budget goes. 
budget will look a whole lot better at the end of the year. But it's about taking a step. This is a new year, a new you. We can start right now. Did we finish the readings of the scripture yet? <coughs> All year long, Jenna has taken the, the time to put the Bible readings in the bulletin. All year. They were there. You could read through the Bible in a year. If you remember, they were on the back of the bulletin. Did anybody take time to read through a year? Did you? There's one. There's one. And I believe Giovanni was. I don't know if she was able to maintain through this time in the hospital. But there was one. You see, what I'm saying is, there's a beginning. There's a beginning. And if each one of us tried each week to do a little more, to, do, to be a little different, to be a little better, a little kinder, a little more compassion, can you imagine what this world around us, can you imagine what Tenney Chapel would be? We don't have to go around with it. Can you imagine what we would be? You are a fantastic church. You really are. But can you imagine if each one of us put forth just a little bit more effort, can you imagine what we would be? It would be amazing what God could do through us. It's a new year. The old is gone. We can't do anything about that. But we can start today. We can start today afresh. We can say, Lord, I want to take one more step. I want to do this just a little bit different. And then we start. And that's how we get it done. We just start and move forward. What if I fail? What if I skip a day? What if I skip a week and don't finish? Then we start over. If we fall back, we just get up and start moving forward again. That's it. That's what it takes. Nobody said we are perfect. We're really not, are we? We're just a bunch of people that's coming together that's trying to do the best that we can. And that's what God expects of us. I want you to realize God gave more than the 10%. Amen. God could have given just a little bit and we'd have been okay. But God gave everything that He had. He came into the flesh, into the world, to be a sacrifice so His people could share in His glory. <coughs> do we mess up Ronnie each day? Yeah. We do. But well, we start over, don't we? That's the way it is in life. Maybe we messed up today, but we start over. God gave everything that He had so that we would be able to start over. We could start again. We could get up and dust ourselves off and say, Lord, I'm sorry. And then go again. It's about realizing this year that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior of my life. And I want to serve Him. And I want to serve Him even better. That's what He wants of us. Do you know Him? Do you know who He is? Is He alive in your heart? That's what it takes. It's about knowing Jesus Christ and what He has done for you and I. The old is gone. The new has come. The law is gone. Grace.
choices here. If there's anything in your life that God is tugging at you with, if there's things going on, if there's a situation that's taking place, maybe there's many hardships, maybe there's situations in your life, you know you can come right here to this altar and open up to God. You don't have to come to me. I'll pray with you if you want me to. But you can do that all by yourself. The curtain was torn. The way to God was opened up. Do you know Him? This altar is open. If you want to come. We're going to stand and sing just as I am. You know, that's all he wants of you, just as you are. You don't have to be perfect to come up here. Just an intention to do it better. you continually fill this church with your compassion. May we ever feel your flowing spirit as it moves through our lives and through our buildings. Father, may we look to you for the guidance that we need. Father, we just thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. It's in his name that we pray. And all the people said, Amen. Amen.